Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking about a new release from the House of Latafa. So I never really did any fragrances on the House of Latafa. I heard they're good fragrances. I heard they're pretty, pretty much inspiration or clone house fragrances. In this video here, I'm gonna talk about a fragrance that's pretty popular in the community. It's supposed to be a clone of YSLY EDP. And it's around the 20 to 25 hour uh, price point. It's a 100 ml bottle and it's called no other than Latafa and this is Fakara. If I say it wrong, I do apologize. These names are getting more harder and harder to say. It's crazy, right? First of all, this beautiful bottle presentation is amazing. I'll zoom in and show you, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Jeff. This is Jeff's bottle. He let me borrow it. He was curious to see how I feel about this fragrance. He said he really enjoyed wearing it and it's very close to YSO, YEDP in his opinion. In my video, I'm gonna break it down, how it performs, if I like it or I don't, or if it's worth the 20 to 25 dollars it's going for online. This box is amazing. Between this and the bottle, it's a 10 out of 10. Look at this, beautiful. Let's talk about note breakdown. Okay, I post notes on the screen for you guys to see it. So we have apple, bergamot, ginger, lavender, sage, juniper berry. Let's spray it on a test strip. Sprayers are good, really good. This opens up very refreshing. If you like the YSLY EDP DNA, you're gonna like this fragrance here. It's very refreshing. You're gonna get that freshness with the slightly bubblegum feel in the fragrance, and you definitely get that sweet apple in the fragrance. As soon as you spray it, you're gonna think of YSLY EDP or that YSLY lineup DNA because I have per previously purchased all those fragrances when they first came out, except for Love Off Farm. I love that one. I'm just hard headed and stubborn. I should buy it, but. Nevertheless, this is amazing. The way this one smells, it's spot on to it where it doesn't have that, like it's not some clone house has fragrance that had a little bit of alcohol in the opening or it's a little bit off. This is very, very close, very smooth, edge, very easy to wear and it smells great. You know, something like this, you smell in the air, you're thinking you're wearing a YSLY fragrance. You know what I mean? For a 20 to $25 price point, you know, First off, this presentation is way better than the YSL one, hands down, but you know, it's not the same brand. But what I'm trying to say here is that once you get in the opening, it's very refreshing, bright in your face. There's a the sweetness as well. You're definitely picking up some ginger in the fragrance as well. So you get a lot of the same notes that are in the YSL, YEDP DNA. So it's funny because when I wear this fragrance, I wore it to work two times now. It, it's so close to it that I'm thinking I'm wearing the YSL, YEDP DNA. It's not like, oh, it smells like a clone. It doesn't have that clone vibe to it. You know what I mean? But it does when you talk about the performance we'll talk, touch on later in the video. Very good, you guys should definitely check this one out here for that 20 to $25 price point for a 100 ml bottle as well. So you can't beat that. Now when you get to the mid and the dry down, you're still getting that YSL, Y DNA. But you're getting that lavender and the sage and you're picking up some tonka bean to dry down, and you're getting a little bit of the amber wood and cedar wood. Now, pretty much my performance may vary on yours, so please keep that in mind. Me personally, I got about, I wanna say projection wise, I got about a good 30 to 40 minutes on my skin. It's very nicely, very moderate. You can smell the fragrance for that there's 30 to 40 minutes. It's pretty strong. After that, it gets very close to the skin where you can smell it around you, a nice little scent bubble, but that's pretty much it. Longevity, I got about a good four to five hours on my skin, which isn't bad at all. Now with the original YSLY EDP, I got between five to six hours. So it's about an hour or so lesser, but for this $20 price point or 25, you ain't gonna break the bank. Actual bottle of Y EDP, I think goes for about a hundred or $110 for a bottle. So, you know, it's definitely a $75 savings if you wanna buy this over to Y EDP. And I think that's a 60 mil bottle or 50 mil bottle. It's not a hundred mil bottle for that price tag. Keep that in mind, you get more juice but performance is gonna be off by maybe an hour or two on your skin. Seasons and occasions, me personally, this is gonna be your easy spring and summer fragrance. You grab it, spray it and go. Can you wear it in the fall and winter time? Sure, it's not really a wrong time to wear it. I feel like it's going to have more staying power on your skin in the spring and summer time, the warmer months when you're in that 70 to 100 degree weather outside. But then again, if you're indoors in the cold fall and winter time, you can wear this indoors and you're good to go. Everybody's gonna like the way you smell. It's a very easy, safe, fresh fragrance. Will it be a compliment getter? Sure, I don't think one person will not like this fragrance. Occasion wise, anytime, date night, 
casual Sunday brunch, anywhere you think you're gonna wear the YEDP or YSL DNA, you can wear this fragrance the same way. Ratings and final thoughts. So for me personally, this is easily gonna get a seven out of 10. It covers all the basics. The reason why I'm not giving it 10 out of 10 because this is an inspiration or a dupe or a clone of a more high-end designer fragrance. If this was a fragrance by its own, easy 10 out of 10. But for the price point, this is easy. This would be easy seven out of eight for most people. I'm giving this seven out of 10 because performance isn't at that eight hour mark. So that's not really the con, that's really a con where you gotta respray it. And for this bottle here, you're definitely gonna have to do about five sprays, maybe four, depending on how it performs on your skin throughout the day. Price point is good. And hey, you got a beautiful presentation. So at the end of the day, this is great for anybody that doesn't have a lot of money to break um, fragrances, you know, they don't wanna break the bank. And I understand that. A lot of people say, Chris, you have so many expensive fragrances, where's your cheap fragrances? I don't particularly buy cheap fragrances, that's just me personally. I have in my past on YouTube, but right now, this one is fire, so heck, if I want to get a YSLY dupe, this is probably one of the best. And for me, this is about 90% close to YSLY EDP. I'm talking very close, where in the mid and dry down is a little bit off, but that opening is right there on your face. You catch, that, you catch and smell that YSLY EDP DNA. This is amazing, a beautiful presentation. You guys should definitely check this out. If you have guys have tried any other little type of fragrances, what are your favorites? Leave a comment down below. If you like these cool type of clone videos, you wanna see more of our channel, leave a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. Be safe everyone and I'll catch you in my next video coming soon. Peace.